40. Shots all the way around the wicket. Look at the number of shots behind the wicket, though. The, the reds are the fours, the purple lines are six. There's only been one in front, and that was just now. There's a sweep shot, the little uppercut from Majinka Rahani. I think the Australians can take a leaf out of this. This pitch is now starting to play more and even. Run in when they get that ball in hand, hit the pitch as hard as they possibly can and make it very, very awkward. You can just see there, back live. Oh, catch, it's caught catch. and caught. So the play two, Mohamed Shami picks up his sixth wicket. All right, let's have a look at the virtual eye and, and have a look at the bounce. The, the yellow delivery here is the one that turns and bounces and got the wicket of Virat Kohli, but yep. also the purple one's the one that goes straight on. Well, that's right. That's the difficulty. Um, you know, the yellow one, the dismissal, it spun and bounced. Virat Kohli went hard at the ball. His bat and his gloves out in front of his pad, bang, straight to short leg. Now, he doesn't know whether it's going to get skid straight on or yep. not, so you need a bit of luck there. You need your technique in good order. How are you going to play it? Am I going to pad it away? Am I going to get down the track and use my feet? Yesterday, Virat mm. Kohli went hard at it, and he suffered. Well, I think a big thing coming in today is going to be the bounce. Have a look at the bounce of that yellow delivery there. I mean, it's really kicking up high, and that's the one you say they got Virat kohli -ish. Now, what is Nathan Lyon's plan? So his plan is to come down come down close here. Yeah, see this piece of rough here? He just wants to be really patient and disciplined and land the ball in this area here. Now, a ball landing in there, it can react in two totally different ways. One might turn, one might just skid on. And we saw that a fair bit yesterday. Let's have a look at it from a batting perspective. The batsman's taking his stance here. And let's just see how disciplined Nathan Lyon is. Okay, look at the pitch map here. And he's just trying to land as many balls in that good area as he possibly can. Okay, and from an Indian perspective, it's really difficult for them to play. The Indians are trying to play it in different ways. Some are trying to skip down the pitch and, and smother the spin that way. Some are just lunging forward and trying to survive, smother that spin. Some are trying to play off the back foot and, and, and survive in that manner. Okay, it's really difficult for the Indians to play. I want to show you two balls that were bowled to Virat Kohli, both landing in a very similar position and reacting completely differently. Okay, let's have a look at the first one. So the ball comes down. This was in the first innings, and it really hit it in that sort of spot and then really spun back past, just missing the top of the off stump. And then yesterday, there's the wicket ball, landing in a very similar area, Coley playing forward, catching the outside edge. Usman Khawaja takes a very good catch. So, in my view, Nathan Lyon has been very, very good for Australia and probably the difference between the two teams in this test match, and he's used natural variation to his advantage. Let's have a look at the pitch map here. Usman Khawaja, the, the red ones are the dot balls here. So you can see here, this is what Usman Khawaja would have been seeing. A lot of movement, some variation in bounce, extremely difficult to play. The yellow ones are some runs that he was able to score. A little bit more consistent in bounce, but the thing that Khawaja did extremely well, he waited for the Indians to come into his scoring zone. That's the green ball that he was able to flick off the pads. So that's a key for Khawaja, to remain positive, wait for the Indians to come into his scoring zone, and then put it away to keep that scoreboard ticking over.